Well, somehow they broken the valve on the bottle and it won't open. I guess they've over tightened it, stripped the thread or something. So this is going to be a day in our life, a day in Georgetown, getting ready to leave and we're going to go up the coast of the Azumas and find another anchorage. And first thing in the morning at 8 o'clock we listen to the net. The net, which is very very informative here okay, in uh, Georgetown. Yep. It's the first time we really find it um, really useful, really useful yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So let's see how the day pans out. Yeah. Thank you, Prowatet, and again, welcome back to Georgetown. Yes, uh, last count was 302 boats. We'll probably have even more by next week this time. Any other new arrivals? Good morning. Wolfpack. Pack, come on in. We ran out of gas this morning, just as we were making coffee. So, one of the jobs we need to do is to get our cylinder filled. And to do that, I need to mark it. Hey, Lula, I would post that on 68, say draw announcement, draw announcement, state what you have, and maybe that boat will contact you on 68. Thank you for that. So this is our old cover for the washing machine and we're gonna have to put it back because uh, I'm doing the bimini and I ran out of um, material fabric so I'm gonna use from the one from the washing machine so I can finish the bimini and then I'll put this one on and later on when we are able to buy something on the gray on this color so I'll do it again so why are we jerrycane water oh we don't normally because we've got the water maker but um there's free water here, so apparently it's the only place in this area of the Bahamas you can get water and it's quite drinkable. So these three cans make up 70 litres of water, which would take us about 50 minutes to make. So it's actually worth us filling them up and putting it in the tanks. I'm, I'm, I'm blogging. <laughs> I'm blogging now. Now I'm waiting for the gas man. I'm blogging. See, you you multitask. Oh no, I, I don't. I, I, I don't want people coming in. Once yeah, I, 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 I,
Here you go, so that's um... That's oh wait, that's 30 to survive. Five. Perfect. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. How long are we back? Uh, we should be back around quarter to 11 if all goes well. Okay. Thank you okay. very much. Or maybe even before. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you, Bruce. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Next stop. Supermarket. Yeah, supermarket again. Very expensive supermarket. <laughs> is uh, petrol or gas, whichever way you prefer to call it, uh, for the airport. Okay, so next stop is collecting the gas. Yep. It's so expensive because this is nothing really for us. This is on a normal uh, week. This would be enough for two days. Uh, you don't have any. Se se almost seven pounds, seven dollars for a melon. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Ridiculous. So what happened? Well, somehow they broken the valve on the bottle and it won't open. I guess they've over tightened it, stripped the thread or something. Okay, here's the test. Yay! I think, uh, I think um, the valve got stuck in the closed position inside. With too much pressure because too they fill up too yeah. much sometimes. Yeah. And we did let a bit of pressure off and uh, kind of give it an extra tightening and I think we just managed to undo it. That was a bit scary really because if the bottle it's, was it broken, was no why gas. we get We had no bottle. no bottle, no gas, nowhere to buy. No, no. This can, this sprung a leak, leaking petrol. Simon is putting that jerry can inside the boat because that jerry can has a hole so it doesn't hold the water for a long time. Okay. 
uh, we decided to go um, up on this island and start getting off of Exuma. Yeah, I think we probably had enough of Georgetown, to be honest. Uh, there's a lot of people there, there's a lot of boats there. Yeah. It's very crowded. Um, there's some great facilities though, uh, being organised by people. Um, we managed to get the gas, the water and the... Uh, the uh, propane. Yeah. Uh, we did have that little problem with the propane cylinder, but I think it had been overfilled and the valve was sticking. So that's now going. Yes. Um, the uh, the uh, petrol, the gas can, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Everything happened to us today. Everything happened to us today. But anyway, we've left and we're doing about uh, 14 miles north up towards Nassau. And uh, it's very light winds, 10 knots, so we've got the Genoa around and the engine's running and uh, we're going to find ourselves a little cave yes but a bit more isolated yeah that's what we do with telephone signal with telephone <laughs> What time of day is it? It's beer o'clock for sure. It's still on our Mexican beer, which was around about 60 cents a can, wasn't it? I don't know what was cheap. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. It's been, it's been a bit of a traumatic day, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a very difficult day, to be honest. Yeah. But we have actually moved along the coast, uh, around about 15 miles, and uh, we're in a little uh, quay called uh, Soldier Quay, and uh, it's all quite nice, really, isn't it? It's beautiful here. It's uh, more protected than the place we were yep. before in yep. Georgetown. Yep. So, yeah, and we're all on our own. Yes, just us. Yeah. Yes. With telephone signal. With telephone signal. <laughs> so since you've been here, what have you been doing? I have been working on the Bimini for two hours, so it's uh, all turning a bit too difficult now because it's getting bigger yeah, and bigger I don't have the space. Yeah. And when I put on the floor, Dobby uh, thinks I'm playing with him, so he just makes a mess. He's, he's playing right here now. <laughs> this is his climbing frame. And then he gets stuck. So it's getting a bit difficult, but you, uh, I'm getting there. You're getting there. And I've been, spent two hours uh, editing a video. Yeah. So my eyes are going now. So it's beer. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>